what is with all the Mac Jones talk? Like, why is this? I I've never heard someone's name so much, and it seemed to just like appear out of nowhere for no damn reason. Um, I think it's I think part of it is engagement. To me, it goes back to engagement, right? Same Niners, thing with the epilepsy. Yeah, you know the Niners. I like I like I've said, but like I like I've thought this before. Like Sean McVay punted Jared Goff to Siberia, right? <laughs> and <laughs> you expect me to believe that Kyle Shanahan is going to want a quarterback similar to Jared Goff? Like we all like we the constant the constant comparison is. Jared Goff and I'm sorry, McVay and Kyle, they're, you know, they're, their offenses are the same. They do a lot of the same things. Yet yeah. we want to put Matthew Stafford with McVay and Mac Jones with Kyle Shanahan. What? <laughs> when we know Kyle Shanahan has had interest in Matthew Stafford, we know he had interest in uh, Deshaun Watson. Who's the closest thing to those two guys? It would be Justin Fields or Trey Lance, not McCorkle. Like, I think Marcus Spears said it best. Like, why would you go draft a guy who's going to stay within your X's and O's like Mac Jones when you can draft a guy like Justin Field who will potentially elevate you past your X's and O's, right? That doesn't make sense to just stay where you are. Like, why would I? You're wanting to get away from Jimmy Garoppolo, so let's go get a younger version of Jimmy Garoppolo or Jared Goff. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Anyone with common sense would say, hey, it's either Trey Lance or Justin Fields. If the Niners were at two, then of course you're looking at Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, or Trey Lance. And if they would have the first pick, it's a no-brainer you're taking Trevor Lawrence because you want the mobility, you want the ability to extend plays. 